Back right. with Jim Cregan and Tyler Stewart of the Bare Naked Ladies. Now, 15 award nominations, nine of which were won. Stephen Page, a huge part of that success. That's nine of which were won, right? Isn't that what I said? Yeah, but it sort of sounded like nine. I want to make sure. Nine! N-I-N-E! Nine! <laughs> nine. We, won nine. nine. <laughs> we won nine! Nine of which were won. Okay. Now, there's a new direction for Bare Naked Ladies without Stephen Page. So, how does it feel to not have Stephen in the group anymore? Well, the, the easy answer is it feels great, because it, it really does. Obviously, you never replace a guy like Steve Page, incredible singer, great songwriter. Um, but in order for us to do this thing, Bare Naked Ladies, we needed to move on as a four-piece. And we decided to do that, and uh, we went our separate ways. And it's feeling so good right now, because the first thing that we did when we became a four-piece is to make this new record. Right. And uh, the songs that came to the table were really incredible, and I think reflect, you know, the kind of crazy year, past two years that we had with uh, Ed's plane crash and, uh, you know, all the stuff involving Stephen. And I think uh, the best thing we did was get back together and regroup and realize that we're really there for each other, that we really want to make music together and we want to strive to communicate better. Did you ever think that, you know, without Stephen, I don't think we can move on and, and just sort of disband? Well, we, we had to figure it out. We had to come together as a collective and figure out how we were going to do it. And individually and collectively, we looked back and said, you know what? We've been living this for 20 years, and it's and we, we involve Bare Naked Ladies in our community, doing stuff for Serve Canada, local charities that bring a lot to our lives and our community's lives. And we were like, you know, we got to keep it going. So, well, absolutely. Yeah. How did you guys feel when you got the phone call about Stephen in New York? Uh, I've had better days. Uh, you know, I was at the cottage, man. I just wanted to go fishing. And luckily, I did go fishing. And I caught the biggest pike I've ever caught the day after. So maybe it was some weird good luck omen at the end of the day. I don't know. But, uh, you know, obviously, any time you get any news like that, whether it's a friend, loved one, or brother that's, you know, gotten into some kind of trouble, immediately, you know, we all felt fear and we felt, um, we felt compassion for Steve because he was going through a rough time. But also, you know, you... In terms of the band, you think about, you know, we spent all this time, all these years building a brand and image and a lifestyle that uh, is synonymous with um, with fun, family, and good times. And, you know, obviously getting news like that was a little bit intense, but... Uh, I think ultimately, though, we wanted to stand by him. Yeah, totally. Like, we absolutely. Hard times. Yeah, and, and that, you know, a lot of people might say that that was you know, the reason why, um, you know, he's not in the band anymore, and that's not true. We really stuck by Stephen through that. This is a really a creative decision. What was Steve like to deal with afterwards? Did you guys have to pull an intervention or anything like that? Oh, we, we definitely had, you know, we got together and had band talks, and we were, you know, we wanted him to get better, you know, and, and, and get through this crazy, crazy thing. He did a lot of work himself. He really took responsibility for what he did, and, you know, he's really moved on, so we're, we're very happy. You know, we root from him from our side of things now, and I'm sure he'd probably say the same about us. Whose decision was it for Stephen to leave? Well, that was a mutual decision, really. We kind of met as a group, and we decided that the best way for everyone to move forward was to go our separate ways. And uh, So far, so good. Like, you know, it's funny, because when you ask the question, how does it feel? And it honestly feels great. We yeah, feel, feel like, like the right place to be. Yeah, we feel like we've been reborn in a lot of ways. And... Uh, which is great because uh, we're currently covered in a, a thin sheen of slime <laughs> uh, after being re no <laughs> reborn. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm glad we're here uh, in Cobra because we can get this wiped off finally. Right. You know? So was it your decision or Disney's decision to pull you from the block party? From the Disney block the party? The Disney block party? Oh, we decided that. Yeah, we we were out. It was something, too. Like we, we put the kids' album out, and we uh, also... We're heading into a summer where a lot of us were um, interested in hanging out with our families, oddly enough. Um, and, we, you know, we, in the past few years, we've decided to take summers off because that's when our kids are out. Um, you know, in the band, there's like 12 kids, so um, they're not actually in the band. That would be like Earth, Wind, yeah. and Fire or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, which is not a bad thing. Which is not a bad yeah. thing at all. Oh. If our children learn to play horns, we're going to have a heck of a band. <laughs> yeah. um, but, yeah. Uh, you know, we were... We weren't doing a lot around the release of the album anyway, so there was a few of those shows that we canceled, and at the end of the day, it was the best thing to do, and we did it, and now we're here. Do you guys all stay in touch with Steve and stuff? Uh, you know, there's, yeah, there's things that outside of the band that I keep in touch with him, like he, 
he hooked me up with a great solar panel company, and I said, "Are you in a new deal?" Give him an email or. Yeah, and he, uh, Kevin has done some shows with him uh, around town and stuff like uh, on the same bill, like singer shows. And yeah, we're you know he's still around. He's uh, he's available if we need him. Perfect. The album is called All in Good Time. The first single, You Run Away, and it's obviously all about Stephen Page's departure from the Bare Naked Ladies. Now we all listen to it here on the programming staff at Star 93.3, and we kind of got the whole feeling of hurt and betrayal from from the lyrics and from the song. Are we off? Uh, well, I, I think, you know what, I, I wouldn't say it's all about Steve's departure. I would say it's a song about uh, missed opportunities and regretting being in a long-term relationship and having it go a certain way. Um, I think at the end of the day, any song, unless it names names specifically, um, it is a lot more universal than that. And some of the themes that we're exploring on this whole album, I think, have come... You know, they might be related to some of the events that happen in our lives, but ultimately it's about emotion. Music is about emotion. Absolutely. And this song is an emotional song about, uh, you know, disappointment, but also, you know, the fact that that often when you miss one opportunity, another one's going to come along eventually. And well, absolutely. If this first single is anything about what the album's going to be about, thumbs up to you guys. It's going to be awesome. Well, the rest of the album actually is, uh, is in French. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but thank you for loving the only song. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. So, what's next for you guys? Tour? Yeah, uh, we'll be on the road. Yeah, April, we're coming on the road. Come through Oshawa at this point, I think. Yeah, and uh, Kingston. Kingston. So you can have a little, it's a little bit of a drive east or west, but mm -hmm. you know, probably in your broadcast area. You know, oh, absolutely. And because because all of your listeners don't live in this building, right? No, I've got that right. Yeah. yeah. See, I've been around a while, 20 years, like learning something. Well, I hope not. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys prefer the bigger venues as opposed to the smaller ones, or smaller opposed to the bigger ones? We like to make the big ones more intimate. Right. Right. I think that's one of our objectives when we play a big place. But we I like, like to make the smaller ones bigger because we bring our own back <laughs> and equipment, blow the back wall out. You know when they come, in, people come into your kitchen, you go, oh, you can blow that wall out and get a lot more space. We do that in clubs. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Self renovation. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the fact that you guys came in. Thank you very much, and we appreciate it so, so much here at Star 93. Nice talking to you. Right on, Dave. Thank you. Yeah.